Hello guys, and well, I'm really trying to become a proper, you know, day-on-day -day YouTuber, and so I've decided to come up with a schedule, which I'm not too sure if it's going to work, I'm just going to ask your opinion, if you want me to change anything around, if there's like, a series that you would like me to include, or a series that you would like me to remove, maybe. I don't not too sure if it's good. If there's a new series that you want me to remove, I probably want to try it out before I do it. But either way, I mean I'm open for pretty much anything. Um so just bear that in mind when you suggest stuff in the comments. Um but yeah so first one I'm going to start on Monday and I'm going to go through to Sunday. Um Monday is going to be a brand new series and it's called um, Making History. Um, basically, I make cars on Forza and maybe GTA if I can be, if it is easier. Well, it probably won't be, but on on Forza the um, the cars that have like literally made my history of cars the way it is. So cars that I really really like from certain franchises, maybe competitions. I've watched maybe just um, like gen generality me seeing a car and going oh I want to remake that look of a car so just like red and black wheels and it's like a one that I found in a fast car magazine that was like it's got like 400 brake horsepower or something you know that that kind of thing and I might it's, it's a cool idea that I came up with recently and it's just like I want to kind of incorporate it I want it to be my own not no one else has got a um, series about like I've seen series where they make famous cars but it's had no meaning like these these cars that I make will be close to me they'll they'll there'll be a reason behind why I made the the um this car and also I'll put that like a little thing I'll put like a little description um above everything else in my description about why I chose the car what it means to me and all that so it's it's quite a personal idea it's like it's it's a bit it's a bit more directed at me, not at you. If you enjoy it, then you enjoy it. If you don't, then well, I kind of still want to do it because I do a lot of projects on Forza that I just don't record. Um, so I think I should start doing more ones that I should record. So that's that. Tuesday, drift build. That's the way it is. It's going to be drift build. I've I've tried to fit it in somewhere. I need to continue drift build. Um, so tomorrow, which is Tuesday, will be. The second to last drift build of season one, and then next Tuesday will be the last of season one. And then we'll start season two after half term, like the Tuesday coming after half term. Unless it gets changed and you guys don't want to see something on another day, and then I might have two drift builds a week, which would be even more awesome than having one drift build a week. So Wednesday is one that I got asked, like, I re requested back by. Vincent, I believe his name is. Like, I always forget the people who commented because I get it through email, so I don't really check Google Plus because it sucks. Um, yeah, so it's going to be Map Showcase. I decided to keep it. It was originally on a Wednesday. It's going to continue being on a Wednesday. Um, so this Wednesday I'll be doing a map that I made quite a while back, but you know I find it really entertaining. And I might get back into map making on GTA because that'll be freaking awesome. I really did enjoy it. I don't know why I lost my passion for it, um, but yeah, so that's that. Thursday will be, um, wait, Cinematic Awesomeness is what I put it down as, not its actual name, basically, you see all these, like, phase edits, you know, like, cinematic phase edits, and, like, sniping edits, and knifing ed edits, and, and we don't have that in racing, so I thought I'd try and tackle it in my own special way see what I can do, see what I can create, um, you know, get some cool GF guy, the G GFX guys in, a few guys that, like, have made, like, COD montages, or well, you know people who've made COD montages, ask them about this, because this could be an interesting route to take, um, because I don't think anyone's done it, and I think people might like it, I'm just interested to see what you guys like, and trying to come up with original series that other people haven't ever come up with before. As far as I can tell, not many people have actually done a proper cinematic phase style drift or like drag or just standard racing, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that's my idea. I'll be working on that. 
Um, that unfortunately might not be this week. I might not start. I might start that in half term next week. Um, just for one fact that I'll tell you in a, late, a bit later on in the video. Um, so Friday is obviously it has to be um, dubstep racing. Friday is a nice chill day. I feel like everyone's a lot happy on Friday. Everyone enjoys Friday. I enjoy Fridays. So what better than to come on to YouTube, find a GTA um, dubstep racing there, racing with dubstep. I've I can't wait to start doing a series. Yet. I loved it. I just kind of lost interest in finding new dubstep because I was too addicted to the dubstep that I did find. That's the reason why I stopped. Not because I couldn't upload or anything. I literally just went, wow, this dubstep's good. And I just didn't stop listening to it. And I'm going to start listening to some more dubstep. Open open my the doors a bit wider and see if I can find more new interesting dubstep for you guys. Um, Saturday ain't changing unless I get something. Um, Saturdays are live streams, as I just said. Um, all day live streams. Unless I end up either seeing my friends, going out with my friends, which I will tell everyone about on Twitter that day. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's the most important thing. You can follow, you can add me on Snapchat, and you can do all the other shit that's in the um, description. But most importantly, I'd recommend you follow Twitter. I've started using Twitter a bit more now to communicate with people. I'm going to start updating things a lot more, like whether or not live streams are going to happen. Plus, the other side is I have actually got a job now. Haven't got a schedule for it, but the chances are, for the time being, it's going to be Wednesdays. Um, no, day it's going to be Sundays. No, Saturday. What the fuck is wrong? It's going to be Saturdays, um, Saturdays and or Sundays. So the chances are that I'm probably not going to be able to get a video out, on, a live stream out on Saturday and or Sunday. Um, and that brings me on to Sunday which I currently haven't got anything scheduled down for just because you know I felt like I didn't need to put anything down for it so if I'm releasing a video every day up until Saturday I should first of all be able to get a day off i.e. Sunday and secondly if I want to like for example I was talking about um, how awesome, awesome cinematic awesomeness isn't going to be happening this week I'm going to be working on it on Thursday and Sunday, unless I end up having um, my shift on Sunday. So, I'm trying to make this as flexible as possible. If I have one open gap in my entire plan, i.e., you know, I've got this open plan um, in Sat in Sunday, let's say on Friday in the summer holidays, I can't bring out a dubstep racing, I've got a shift. So I moved that, I put on Twitter, oh yeah, sorry, I've got a shift. Um, I'm going to be moving that to Sunday, and Sunday is no is going to be full of a video. So I've made it that kind of flexibility. I might even reduce it even more. I feel like um, I might remove live stream and make that a um, you know like a thing where it's like oh yeah today I will be live streaming, not make it a a guaranteed sun Saturday thing. I mean I quite like it, but. I mean, it makes it more flexible for me since I am still a GCSE student currently doing my GCSEs who's trying to get a job to save up for his Air Force One um, so he can continue with his YouTube career. So, based, it's not a career, is it? No, it's a, it's a bit of fun. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to scratch that. But yeah, basically, um, I possibly, not only in, this is the other thing I want to point out, not only is this flexible like that but I feel like next week if let's say I because I've already said to the guys that I work at the, the people that I work at uh, that I might be available I am available for half term so the chances are they might sign me up for something like a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Sunday or any of those days there's a chance that they're gonna set me up for and that means that I'm probably not gonna be able to get one of the videos out so Either I start pre-recording my videos again, which was a ball ache because I just ended up pre-recording so much that I never released it, which is what I had my problem last time, um, or I just make it flexible as shit. So that's what I've done, sort of. Um, 
So apart from that, I can't really say much. Um, but there's the schedule. I'll put the schedule properly in the dis in the description. Um, but yeah, so that's that. At the rate I'm going, I'm probably going to end up getting an Xbox One within the first month of the summer holidays, which is still about a month and a half, two months away. But, I mean, chances are I'll do that. And then I'll, if I work my ass off, which I'm planning on trying to do, um, I'm going to probably end up getting a microphone as well and maybe a new headset. I'm not too sure. And then I can start saving up for the PS4. And really, I do hope this job is well paying. I can't, I can't, they never actually told me how much I was getting paid, but one of my work friends who's working at the same level as me says that they're getting paid £5 an hour. So I'm hoping for that because then I can get 25 quid a shift unless my shifts are longer, in which case I, I, I want to do four shifts a week, preferably, which I know is like, Leo, you said your thing was flexible. Yeah, that's the thing. Some of the stuff, like, for example, the Making History, is going to take a lot longer than stuff like Map Showcase. So, if I get a shift on Wednesday, it'll be a lot easier for me to do my Map Showcase on that Wednesday night than it would be to create a Making History video. Because that's going to take a long time. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. I hope you like this. Um, I'm probably actually going to end up selling a load of shit soon as well, just to get some money. I need to start saving up for an Xbox One. So I'm probably going to remove a lot of games from my game collection. Um, or... No, I can't. I don't know how I'm going to get money. I really need money. Uh, money's a bitch. But yeah. Uh, but anyway, thank you for the amount of support you've been giving me recently. It's been great. I've been getting loads of views on my latest videos. I'm very happy to see that, you know, that you guys are enjoying the videos that I produce, provide make whatever the hell you want to say um i i'm just gonna say this again i for stuff like map showcase um and maybe an additional series called um called, called challenges just challenges that's all it's gonna be called it was originally gonna be called Toggy challenges but i realized that to nick and tom are already doing Toggy challenges and although these are i don't want to be mean but slightly better than their challenges um and the more top geary than top gear their, their top gear challenges i am going to call them challenges in general um which brings me back to the if you have any challenges for me because i did this earlier if you have any challenges for me feel free to send them in the description below i'd love to see them but for the time being i do need help from one of them so feel free to tweet me um uh if you want to help me you know record stuff and get a chance to be on my youtube videos and all that um but yeah as always guys i will see you in the next one i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to you know do all the stuff like rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter um and suggest slash hint about ideas that you might have to this um as well as show me your support towards this in the comment section below as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.